Hello, I'm Dr. Vishwanath Datta Chaudhary. I'm working in Kure Eye Care Hospitals, Kolkata. Today we'll talk about a very common topic in ophthalmology, diabetic retinopathy. As we all know, diabetes is a major problem worldwide. About 382 million people are suffering from the disease and the number is expected to go up by around 55% by 2035. Majority of the people who suffer from diabetes are between the ages of 40 and 59, of which 80% of the patients are from low and middle income countries. All types of diabetes are on the increase and India is only second in the list of patients of diabetes which is approximately around 65.1 million. And diabetes affects the eye in approximately one third of the patients. The disease is a microvasculopathy, meaning it affects the very small blood vessels in various organs of the body, including the eye. The retina is the primary structure to be affected, wherein the vessels become very leaky and starts leaking out fluid into the retina and also blood. This accumulates in the retina, the central part of the retina and causes loss of vision. Diabetes has become the major cause of visual loss in the working population. In diabetes, some other small blood vessels in the retina become occluded, meaning that the blood flow stops through them. What we need to know is that once we are diagnosed as having diabetes, we need to undergo yearly retinal examinations even if our retina is still unaffected by the disease. This is for timely detection and treatment. In the initial stages of the disease, as your ophthalmologist may detect, only a few dot hemorrhages in the retina are observed. Gradually, it increases the hemorrhages increase and there may be some leakages with hard exudates which are actually some lipids accumulating in the retina. As the disease progresses further, new blood vessels develop in the retina which may lead to bleeding or fractional detachment of the retina which means the retina may get pulled up. Once diagnosed with diabetic retinopathy, the patient needs to undergo certain investigations before treatment which usually consists of injections or lasers or a combination thereof and very late cases coming with hemorrhages or tractional detachments may need surgery. The primary aim should be prevention or delay in the onset of the diabetic retinopathy which can only be achieved by very good control of the blood sugar levels, the blood pressure, the serum lipid levels and the hemoglobin and the kidney status. These, all these things have to be looked in together to delay the onset of diabetic retinopathy and to slow its progression.